following video contains excerpts from our Day 1, Part 10, UC on C Series ESXi Installation Playbook. For a complete configuration guide, subscribers can download the playbook from our website. Welcome to our drawing, Day 1 C Series Server Deployment for Cisco Collaboration ESXi Host Installation. This task is not required for initial BE deployment. It's good to know how to do this regardless. For a standard C-Series with DAS, this task is required. In the unlikely event that you have problems with your BE6000 hard drives, you may have to configure RAID and do an ESXi installation. In this drawing, we'll describe the tasks required to install ESXi on your C-Series server with DOS. We're using the RAID configuration for a BE6000 medium density server C220 M3S SFF TRC number 2. Here are the Day 1 tasks for Cisco Collab on C-Series. On Day 1, we deploy the C-Series server itself. On Day 1, we also deploy the hypervisor, our ESXi host. Only a subset of the tasks are required for BE deployment. We'll run through everything for UC on C-Series. Once the C-Series server is deployed, you can move on to ESXi host installation and configuration tasks. For a BE, RAID is configured and ESXi host installation and licensing has been completed for you by Cisco. If you are deploying a C-Series using a non-BE TRC or specs-based solution, then you'll have to install ESXi yourself. The following tasks are part of ESXi installation on your C-Series. Access the SIMC GUI and server console. Boot system using custom ESXi image. Install ESXi and evaluate results. You need the ESXi installation media to perform this task. Our BE6000 shipped with version 5.1.0 U1 installation media, ESXi-5.1.0-1065491 custom Cisco 5.1.1.1 ISO. We backed up the ISOs and OVAs from our BE6000 in case we needed to reinstall the software. We're using that backed up image. This image can be downloaded from here. You must use a custom Cisco ESXi installation ISO for C-Series servers. Click on Launch KVM Console or the icon in the toolbar to launch a KVM session. Check the box in the Mapped column beside the image you just selected. With the KVM console open, switch to the SIMC GUI and on the Server Summary page, click Power Cycle Server. Click OK to the dialog box and immediately switch to the KVM console. When the startup splash displays, hit F6 to get the boot menu. The VMware ESXi installation media should boot. Click Enter in the Welcome dialog box to install ESXi. You need to reboot the server to configure the boot order. With the KVM console open, switch to the SIMC GUI and on the Server Summary page, click Power Cycle Server. Click OK to the dialog box and immediately switch to the KVM console. Just because you installed ESXi doesn't mean your server will boot using that installed volume. Our server is booting using the FlexFlash HUU Host Upgrade Utility Partition. Select Hard Drive BBS Priorities to change the boot order. Your RAID volume is Bus82 Dev00 PCI. You need to move this volume to the top using the plus key. Some fiddling may be required. It's almost like we know what we're doing. Now we are ready for the initial ESXi host network configuration using the console. Now we have ESXi installed. We can't access the ESXi host using the vSphere GUI until we have an initial network configuration. Do this next. Coming up next, Day 1, Cisco Collaboration on C-Series Server Deployment, ESXi host configuration using console. Thanks for watching.